Holy sh! It's early Black F Friday! Celebrate this kooky capitalist carnival by throwing money at us at a discounted price! 10% off automatically applied at checkout. In exchange for neat shirts, posters, and more! Check out our new Face Set Transit collection and be in awe! The new collection contains shirts, framed posters, and just the posters on their own. There are also three variants for all of your, uh, color needs. So check it out at pleasestopshopping.com. That's pleasestopshopping.com. You ever think about how like fucked up it is that people like grow, they were like growing a mustache and then it just became like no shave November and it, like it, the, the like trajectory of it from like November is the month where you grow your mustache. Okay. Now November is the month where you don't shave. Okay. Now November is the month where you don't come. And then some people are like, November is the month where you should come a lot. Actually, the trajectory of all of what? this. Is uh, I no, still I thought, I thought from like mustache hair to hair to come to, to no come to come. I thought December was was the one where it's like, oh, you have to come all the time. Got to get it out of your system. It wasn't it like the first day you come once, the second day you come tw well, twice, the third one you thrice. Right now, to my knowledge, the one I've seen more than No Nut November or Only Nut November is No Nostalgia Critic November. Have y'all seen that? I've seen. I've that, been struggling. Yes. I, I, I have also, I've it's been I, really hard. I, it's been really hard this month. One, the wife and the kids are starving Two, I can't feed the dog. Three, I just saw nostalgia critics, the wall last week and it ruined no nostalgia critic November. What's with this? Fuck, this is a weird, this fucking November is weirdly like, um, it denies you of all your rights as a man. They just What's keep taking it they away. They just keep First, taking away. No shaving. Then no coming. Then no Doug walk. <laughs> These, these things, are these the fucking pillars things. of man. These are the three things that are akin to water, air, and shelter for a normal human. Why do I you take these away? I did not think you were going to say shelter. I thought you were going to say shit. Nah, shelter by Porter <laughs> Robinson. Somebody, uh, somebody said the word do. come once and now we've hit our stride. Yeah, I would see, I li literally, <laughs> I just had to ask permission. Can I flip the psycho switch? Can cool. I say, can, hey guys, can I say come to start the podcast? Well, I gotta that, ask, like, I gotta like, ask. You gotta fucking come switch. I get, no, it's not a come switch. Like, <laughs> I don't have like a. It kind of is. A, a, well, I mean, no, that's the prostate. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, you know. The prostate is the come switch inside the human. Just like the G spot on a, well. On a horse? What? No, hey, on a if, woman. What? Oh, I thought you were gonna say what? horse. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> if you don't know what we're talking about, go ask your parents right now. Have them explain it to you. Oh no! The G spot or the prostate? Whatever you want, whatever you're feeling. And if your parents don't are actually dead, do that. go and create an AI <laughs> chatbot and ask them. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. If you go, if you go ask like your parents, like, hey, what's the prostate? I feel like they're gonna go clinical with it. I don't think they're gonna say anything weird. They're gonna be like, well, sometimes it gets cancer. No, but like, really, who the fuck, who the fuck talks about the fucking prostate in any other way than either gay sex or fucking like, I went to the doctor's office to get my prostate exam. And I have cancer. Hey, Dad, what's a prostate? <laughs> oh, well, son, Dr. Milk, you do. <laughs> Did you say Dr. Milk? Dr. Milk? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? If your legal guardian says that to you, shake your head very disapprovingly right in the face. <laughs> talking about me when i, I have know. to talk to my legal guardian but it's zavala <laughs> from destiny 2 the, okay so sad. I, I do you guys even know what a prostate is because i don't i'm gonna go google it right now oh, we're starting no. off on a hot button issue welcome to the podcast Literally, <laughs> uh, th th that's what it is you explained it ken the prostate is your hot button <laughs> <laughs> your prostate the pr your prostate is a small walnut shaped organ below the bladder and in front of your rectum the primary functions are to functions. create fluids in your semen oh yeah it's a oh, guy button that's why women don't have a prostate it's a guy button for cum dude I I think I've, dude, dead ass. I think I've learned more about the human body on this show than I have like at, in school. Because I swear to God, there are so many times when we're we name an organ and then we laugh because the organ name is funny, and then we're and like, then we wait, where is that? It. Yeah, and then we're like, wait, what, what the fuck is this about? Hello, everybody. Welcome to Prostate Science Talking. <laughs> We're always like, hey man, we're, 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 what's this thing about uh, what? Well, I don't know. What's a funny, funny organ name? Have you heard? Have you seen the news? Have you heard about this? Have you seen this? The mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. Funny body part names. Can you identify the these? Femur. Ten body the parts? funny bone. 
Oh, the, <laughs> oh, the, the, the pharynx. Thyroid. That's a classic. The frenulum. Thyroid fucks me up because it sounds like a Pokemon. I thought the thyroid was the thing that can get enlarged and fuck your life. Yeah, that's about what happened to Brendan Fraser's the like, whale. <laughs> I don't know. I, why, you're fucking whale pilled. You fucking love pizza. I need a big pizza. I need a big pizza. <laughs> that reminds me of fucking every time I think about that the the whale and he's like I did bird pizza. I always think about that one lady who was like I gotta eat like the Ninja Turtles and then she would just like pour mayonnaise like a bucket of mayonnaise on like pizza and shit. Well, like is that one of the my strange addiction things? I I think so. I swear to God, I I remember she was like I only eat a medium sized pizza pepperoni pizza with mayonnaise, and then she would just fucking glomp the gl gl glomp plump gulp cereal. Yeah, she would just gl gulp. Gulk? No, Syrup? she would just fucking she would just. Pour down a fucking big old tub of mayonnaise on it. It's disgusting. Honestly, I think I think Filth. everybody left after the prostate talk, so I think we could literally talk about anything we want. <laughs> oh god, for sure. No, they want to learn. Speaking of fish, yeah, <laughs> I, I I heard a little astronaut told me you had some news for us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Astronaut I, I, I would think yeah. it's a big astronaut who needs a big pizza. <laughs> that, yeah. All all time segue. Are there any famous astronauts that we yeah. can name uh, right Michael now? Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan. <laughs> I can face. name a famous astronaut. His name is Joshua Dobbs. One of our one of our friends uh like talked about the whale and started this like big pizza joke, and it's been stuck in my head for the last two weeks. <laughs> where it's like, oh yeah, Brendan Fraser's the whale. I watched that. All he does is like fucking walk around huffing and puffing and saying, oh, I need a big pizza. <laughs> so I've been saying it on stream. A lot, and it's been a problem to the point where um one of oh my, my one of the people that watches me uh sent me a, a message um and they uh Europa there's a NASA trip to Europa where they're asking for messages to put it in a bottle and then send it in a probe to Europa and uh Brendaniel Big Pizza was chosen to be sent to Europa so I am timeless I am eternal as is Man. Big Pizza we are sending Brendaniel Big Pizza to Europa I can't believe Jupiter 2 is getting fucking is getting fucking big pizza they're, they're shooting another moon into that atmosphere cuz if you really think about it Fuck. that means that the whale will stand the test of time and it will outlive humanity <laughs> that's it <laughs> Darren Aronofsky is going to survive <laughs> through Ruben Daniel forever. Big Pizza. Uh, <laughs> hey, spo spoiler for the whale, but he that, that is what happens pizza. at the end of it. He flies off to fucking Europa to get a big pizza. <laughs> Europa, because they sent the big pizza there. Yeah, that, that's why he flies away at the end of the in movie. Year, yeah, in a few years time, uh, Europa is going to have a fucking a, a pizza chain, going to have a Domino's. Well, that's, that's, that's actually where... Uh, have you seen Wally? Yeah. yeah. Did you know that the ship from Wally is just circling Europa and all those people? Oh are my god! Because they were trying to get to the big pizza. <laughs> no fucking pizza. way! No fucking way! I need a big pizza. You know what's sad though? Nothing could survive on Europa, so nobody's. At, there's never going to be a fucking. There's never going to be life on Europa. Nah, you could put a biodome with Polly Shore on Europa. It'd be funny. Is it, is it a? Is it an ocean world? I swear to God, it's Europa's an ocean a moon. World. It's a, it's a moon. I'm a dumbass. They got too many fucking moon. I'm they got tired too moon. many moons. Take some of these moons away. They got extra. Bill, you know what you're thinking of? I'm pretty sure Europa from Destiny is an ocean. <laughs> oh my god, please don't. <laughs> Please tell me I'm wrong. No, I think I you're right. Whether we want it or not, we're in. We, we're in a fight with Cabal on Mars. Oh, I really don't want to be right about a destiny fucking thing. I would fucking cry. Guardians, you need to secure the big pizza. Guardians, secure that big pizza. I think it's really funny just trying to imagine, like, in the distant future, there's going to be aliens. They, they collected our little disc that we sent out into space with... Our, our human knowledge. Alien archaeologists are going to be discussing the big pizza tablet for years. Why are we sending a disc without like a disc player? Like we we already no we already did that. We are we, 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 sent we, them we a literally sent, no we we sent a fucking record into space and I'm pretty yeah, sure it's playing the all Voyager. the time. The golden record. Yeah. Yeah. On the Voyager. Plane, no. Yeah. A gold yeah. Record. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. But what I'm saying is, like, for Europa, are they gonna have like a record that plays nonstop and just says Brendan Daniel Pizza? Because <laughs> <laughs> like. 
Because like, what, 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 humans keep fucking humans keep fucking sending physical media around. No, it's like a it's like a it's like a message in a bottle that just says Bryn Daniel Space Big Pizza. Oh, so now we're oh, oh so <laughs> but what about a dictionary or something? Like what now They'll they're figure it out. They have to fucking discover language as well. It's like when archaeologists first discovered the pyramids and were trying to like decipher hieroglyphics. It's going to be a bunch of alien archaeologists panning for gold on Europa and they find the probe and it's just oh, panning what for is, gold. What is this? What is this? And they pull oh it up and it's God. like cinematically Bryn Daniel Big Pizza and they're like what is And they mean? find a big pepperoni and a pasta sauce. Could you could you imagine like finding the gold like the golden disc and then try like <laughs> learning all the language you can from it? And and you you're just like, okay, we're on to something. We found a civilization. <laughs> we gotta follow the track. We gotta f- find the clues. And you go you finally make it to Europa. You find this thing. What has humanity left for you? And you open it, and that's just what it says. <laughs> hey. Thank you, you did all thank, of that. that. That's so much work. Thank like, you, thank you, so the old work. doc, for being a uh, a, a, a revered Brent Daniel fan. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> thank <laughs> you. The biggest Brent Daniel fan is going to be an alien, like e- decades, decades. Fuck that, millennia away. Hot oh, dude, have you seen? I, I recovered more of the Brent Daniel streams that he does this joke where he says spiders and cum, and I lose my fucking mind. I don't know what a spiders <laughs> is, and I don't know what a cum is, but it's fucking awesome. Awesome, dude. Aliens, aliens would figure out cum. I feel. No, but what if they have nitrogen? What if they have gaseous cum? Thank you to our friend for inventing the big pizza gag for wasting centuries of aliens' time. Uh, <laughs> aliens, if you're listening to this centuries in the future after wasting your time, welcome. Yeah, if the internet, if the human internet is still alive somehow, and you've somehow found this, and you've wasted your, you're still wasting your time as we talk about this, right? Because you don't fucking know. Some PST fan is gonna do just a boatload of meth and put this episode specifically specifically on a flash drive and it's going to be attached to a weather balloon <laughs> throw it really fucking throw it throw it really fucking hard up in the space and let's hope that they have usb all right drives. psc fans this is a call to action download this episode <laughs> on a flash drive and bury it in your backyard Just huck it into oh, the fucking enti- sun it's like the word it's a time capsule that starts with the fucking a conversation about not knowing what a prostate oh, is hold on no aliens could really use that we we talked about biology we talked about the prostate oh, yeah, and no, the funny bone actually, right. the most important things in the human body <laughs> the funny bone dude i i i want one day for us to get a nuclear fucking disaster or whatever and then there's only a few humans left alive and then they just have to you know like fallout type shit and that but except we forgot about the human body and we just actually think there's a funny bone that make you laugh no there is the, oh the, okay it's, Never it's, mind. It's, it's it's a bone in your elbow called the humorous oh. it is very humorous um like a fallout style apocalyptic civilization and you go to the doctor like okay you wake up okay, you're I in this apocalyptic up. scenario and you are from the past you go to the doctor and you're like i don't know what's happening and the doctor pulls out something uh it's a, it's the operation board <laughs> like the the board from the, like board, the board game, game operation and he's like looking at you and looking at the operation board like hmm, interesting and he reaches for the funny bone and he's like ah yowch <laughs> yeah is operation still like popular do kids these days play cl- the classic game operation no they didn't put them in Fortnite. the kids these days play ball in oh, a cup shit. or is that just me never mind apparently pop it there's a paw patrol operation but you oh never mind you don't operate on the on the dogs you operate on a picture of the dogs like around the dogs you don't operate the dog oh, I, mother i've done something to fluffy i didn't understand what you meant by that and i was gonna say i've got horrible news in operation you don't operate on a man you operate on a picture <laughs> of a man <laughs> Oh, there's another one where it's a PET scan and you do take things out of the... Dude, there's so many versions of Operation. What the fuck? Oh, it's like the board... It's like, um... It, we that, should, um... That started happening a... Oh, we should make a... Fraser the Whale. Brent, 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 <laughs> I was gonna say a Brent Daniel. Pizza. I was gonna say, I would love to have a Brent Daniel Operation board. That'd be fucking what would, awesome. What would be on the Brendan Operation board? Uh, in the uh, brain, in the brain, I've already got it, uh, bees. Uh, I mean, it, there's gotta be a Mountain Dew, unfortunately, yeah. for you. Mountain Dew in the stomach, Mountain yeah. Dew in the stomach. A funny bone piece is always missing. Lego Man in your shoulder. <laughs> Oh yeah, Lego man in your shoulder <laughs> or your elbow. Oh, that's cute in your Lego elbow. Lego man yeah. in my elbow. The uh, the the pipe from World One Two uh, from Mario. <laughs> 
why that so that you can be suspiciously pipe shaped uh mario <laughs> sent me that image on twitter it's <laughs> just mario why are you suspiciously pipe shaped <laughs> yeah c- c- he just looks like the pipe from world one two and mario my hungry ass could never travel between worlds i would eat all the pies <laughs> now that's something i would send to fucking aliens just the fucking picture of <laughs> world suspiciously pipe shaped mario see what they think they're gonna think all humans were suspiciously <laughs> they're they're gonna, gonna you're gonna so go you're gonna travel forward in time and go to like an alien museum of human history and it's gonna be like the t-rex in the smithsonian oh, but instead man. of that it's just fucking it's the it's just it's a, suspiciously it's a big shaped pipe Mario. shaped skeleton <laughs> Hey, man, they didn't look like that. Uh, <laughs> Every archaeologist ever. Hey, man, they didn't look like that. Why are we trying so hard to fuck up humanity in the eyes of the aliens? You know what? It just came across my mind. It makes me so mad. What if uh, What if aliens get the like bones right? And they're like, oh, this is exactly what humans look like. And like 50 years later, somebody's like, actually, they had feathers and they were a lot yeah, smaller. Yes! Oh. <laughs> yes! I was just thinking, uh, actually, they had feathers. Uh, it's the only time I'm anti-science. I hate feathered dinosaurs. Why did every animal have to have feathers? Or else would they keep Dinosaurs, warm. I mean. Fuck, fuck feathers. I would not. I, w- I wouldn't fuck around with that. That sounds awful. It's like plucky. Isn't it because... They were looking at fossils that they found, and there were like little imprints of where feathers used to be. Maybe. Oh, no, because like it doesn't it, go to like the bone, does chickens it? Chickens don't have that. Yeah, no, chickens don't have that. Oh, you pluck no. it off the off the epidermis. That's the skin. We got to be really careful if we're in dinosaur talk because there is going to be someone incredibly steamed in the comment section just fucking typing up three paragraph essays about why we are right or why we are fucking wrong. I dare you to fucking do that. I dare you, dude. Don't you dare dinosaur kids, dude. That's like fucking 80% of our audience. Hey, (laughs) they can be be paleontologist adults. What I'm saying is that if you're a fucking dinosaur kid, you can fucking drop your little fucking paragraph or whatever the hell you want. And all I'm going to answer with is fucking Big Chungus. And I'll read it. I'll be informed. I'm just going to say, I can't Me read. Too. We'll be informed. I can't read. Dinosaur fan 34, please don't be mad at us. If th- <laughs> Feel free to drop your knowledge, but do it nicely because I'll cry. <laughs> XX Diphthiosaurus, please don't send me hate mail again. I'm so sick of it. I just said that dinosaurs are fucking stupid once, and you've come to my house three times. Uh, please stop messaging me. I do like the feathers, though, because dinosaurs were just very sh- shades of, like, green, brown, and orange before, but apparently the, f- the feathers were really colorful. I'm a big fan of that. I think like casually, casually, not professionally in terms of like dinosaur speak. I think there's two types of people. People who think that feathered dinosaurs are rad and people who think that reptoid dinosaurs are rad. I am Camp Feather. I think they look way more rad with the feathers. But I do respect and understand that the classic uh, green, brown, red dinosaur, like motherfucking tree stars, dumb fuck motherfucker is is pretty cool as well. Yeah, in like the Godzilla way. Couldn't even have the decency to call them Littlefoot. I said dumb fuck motherfucker we eat the tree stars. Good enough for me. Oh, they did. Dude, those look so good. Ooh, 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 ooh. Mm. Tree stars? Like, Land Before Time made leaves look good, and Lion King made bugs. eating bugs look good, and that's why I am at 30 years old. I am as fucked up as I am. Not for any <laughs> other reason, only because of those two movies. Would you go, if, if you had, like, suspiciously star-shaped leaves in front of yeah, okay. you would you eat them <laughs> yeah okay yeah yeah, okay. yeah would you eat them yeah 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 okay, yeah. 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 okay. Yeah. I, I love salad yeah okay yeah <laughs> i don't fuck salad my hungry ass could never stand fall i would get down on all fours and start eating all the leaves i, I my hoover them up <laughs> <laughs> I, don't even, I save so much money on rakes and bags. My wife is so mad at me. I keep bringing the leaves to the bedroom. I've got my appendix working overdrive, eating twigs and rocks. <laughs> you, you're building yourself a house of Aren't leaves. Are we supposed to be leaving leaves like where they are and not rake them up? No. Uh, I mean, well, the, no, they're biodegradable. They go well, into the okay. soil. All right. As somebody, as somebody who rakes, no, you shouldn't just leave the leaves because they build up. And then you're going to have to take care of them anyway, whenever the winter thaws. Don't they like 
kill your uh, they kill your yeah, lawn. Yeah, they kill your lawn. Yeah, that's oh, why people do I it because uh, they dehydrate the lawn or something. Yeah, so like I mean, you can leave a little leaf onto your lawn as a little grass snack, but you have to rake like one leaf? at least a fair amount. Brendan absolutely foiling my plot in the war on lawns. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to spread misinformation. Why do we even have, like, lawns? Why can't we just have cool rocks? And he found tunnels? out. Can. He figured it out. There's nothing that stops us from, like, having awesome marble. Well, that's the the thing in Arizona is a lot of people don't have, um, I mean, when I visited Arizona, too, a lot of people don't have lawns. They just have, uh, like, not concrete, gravel. babe, but, like, gravel or sand or, like, uh, 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 rock or, like, fake lawns. I had a, a neighbor... Back when I lived at my my house with my family, who had like obsidian, they just had obsidian. In, what the fuck? Yeah, I don't know what the frick. That's happened. so bleak. <laughs> Crazy. That neighbor goes to the Nether every fucking week. <laughs> it's fucked up. Yeah, they were just they were really big pieces too. There was like three of them just sitting there. Imagine sleeping at night from your neighbor's house. You just hear the gassed Minecraft noise. They're like, ah. would you just would really you be- loudly? <laughs> Would you be upset if you woke up one day and there was another portal on your lawn? I'd be so fucking pissed <laughs> off. I would be so pissed. I, I don't know what I would do. I'd be, I mean, I, I'd, I'd call my landlord and be like, what the hell is that? Catch what are my you ass, doing? Catch my ass with a diamond pickaxe just out in front of my house yelling at my neighbors. <laughs> Who the fuck put this up? Who the fuck put this up? I'd block their fucking door. I, I, I think I'd be upset if it had the cobblestone corners because then I know that whoever put it there is too broke for a diamond pickaxe. Too. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Because they put it up with a they fucking... The yeah, method. they use the bucket. Yeah, that'd be scary because like, what if a pig, little piglet comes out? <laughs> <laughs> what if it's just? What if you somebody puts a nether portal in your lawn and it's just forty to fifty feral fucking hogs or javelinas just start <laughs> out there? My lawn. Are they aggro? They are aggro. One hundred percent aggro. Okay, I was gonna portal. say if they weren't, well, I'd make them. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going on my front lawn and I'm swinging. Imagine all the rotten flesh you would get. Rotten Wait, flesh? no, they no, they drop. They don't drop. They, rotten they, they flesh. drop. Pork they drop a uh, pork chops. Gold swords. Dude, holy shit! I've been playing so much Minecraft last week. You'd be loaded, honestly. I don't know why we're we're not fucking doing this. Why we're not putting <laughs> Nether portals in front of our house? Yeah, why aren't we all doing this? This is such a hack. <laughs> Just fucking. <laughs> this is like a clickhole article. This one easy hack will save you tons of money on groceries. And put Somebody, a Nether portal in your lawn. GTA money hack, real life. <laughs> So the aliens today, they learned about prostate, they learned about nether, and they they learned about how we- We're, just, we're just talking like the nether portal from Minecraft is real. It's just like- We're it just is. talking it is. like aliens. We're just talking like aliens are going to find this for real. What do you yeah. mean? This civilization, about uh, this. this civilization could summon hogs. We need to figure out their hog summoning rituals now. Do they know what a hog is? <laughs> Yeah, don't, they don't know what a hog is, and these hogs are fucking evil, too. These aren't the good hogs. These are the evil yeah, hogs. aliens, watch out. If a zombie pigman came out of the nether portal and knocked on your door and politely asked for sugar, would you give him some? Why would I give him sugar? What does he need? Well, I, He just needs to borrow some. Imagine if that's how history... Isn't that just kind of like how history really works? Like, if you actually went back in time and talked to alchemists, and, and you talked to them about, like, oh, how do I turn shit into gold? They'd be like, that's just a joke, dude. That's just a bit. Nobody believes that. You're a fucking idiot. It. And then now that's in the future, everybody's like, yeah, they were trying to like turn shit into gold. They're, were they? I don't know. I can't go back in time and yeah, ask. That's like a, in common parlance, that's like a, one of the tropey things that's brought up whenever alchemy is brought up. is like, ah, I got to turn, uh, I got to turn silver or steel into gold. I got to turn a uh, sounds... human girl into dog. No, I get it. That's it from the, the anime. A full metal alchemist. Full, Full metal, metal alchemist. alchemist. <laughs> That's how we should, we should we should have the podcast segmented like that. Just like, please stop talking. Did you know that in the US, your ISP or internet service provider can see every single website you visit? Not only that, but they can also legally sell this information without your consent to ad companies and tech giants who use this data to target you. That's why I use ExpressVPN. I don't need my ISP to know what I'm browsing at 4am when my soul is at its most vulnerable. That is my business. ExpressVPN lets me anonymize my identity and blocks my ISP from seeing what I'm up to and my data is also encrypted for massive maximum protection. Best part about it is that it's super easy to use. Fire up the app, click one button, that's it, you're in. 
It even works on all your devices like phones, laptops, and even routers. I'm not in the US, so a lot of the media I consume or want to consume is locked behind region locking. But by using ExpressVPN, I'm able to access all the libraries of content I want with no hassle. Secure your online activity by visiting expressvpn.com slash pstpod today. That's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N dot com slash pstpod and you can get an extra three months free. Expressvpn.com slash pstpod. Please stop talking. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That, that was a good ad. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Such a weird, deranged episode. I, I don't know. know. We're, I don't even know what the fuck is going on. We just keep jumping from apples to oranges, oranges to apples. I'm so happy because we, we were all so tired, low energy, and now we're just like going. <laughs> did you, uh, speaking of apples, um, did, did I talk about the, I, I fuck, I'm bringing up Brent, Brendan history, bristery. I talked about my grandpa tricks, right? Like he tricked me into eating the sticker of the apple and now I do it every time I eat the apple sticker first. What? Yeah. I eat the so like I eat, I eat the stickers off the apple. I stopped doing it for a while, but when my grandpa passed, I keep doing it in his honor now. And then I also eat the fortune out of the fortune cookie because my grandpa told me that's the only way it can come true. <laughs> You're supposed to eat the fortune out the fortune cookie for it to Are come you, true. I, I don't know if this is a bit anymore. This isn't a bit. This is a real story. And now oh, uh, since my grandpa passed, man, I eat the fortune the every time. I got a belly oh, full of what paper. The hell are you doing? Put a stamp on me and you could mail me. A new thing to add to the Brendan operation board. <laughs> a, a, a belly <laughs> Put a book what of stamps in his <laughs> liver. What are you talking about? You're fucking lying. I'm not He's lying. Doing a bre- this is not He's a doing lie. The Brendan lie. Actually, He's doing a Brendan lie. He's doing a Brendan lie. You could message my wife right now. And no, she, get, no. Is she home? Literally, uh, she's at work, but she might respond. But she could literally, she could literally oh. vouch. I eat the paper out of the fortune cookie every time. No. It's not a bad. No, the, you fucking don't. Yes, I do. Dude, I will <laughs> no, turn on my camera don't. and I will eat paper right now. No, I don't. Yeah, I, well, I could fucking do it too if you prompt me. I like. I, I'm not above eating paper for but entertainment. I eat paper out of the fortune cookie every time. That's not a. That's not a Brendan Gaslight. That's a real thing. It's One time a, in a, middle school, we I had a kid eat a styrofoam plate because we thought he wouldn't do it, and then he just did it just to prove us wrong. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> Belly full of napalm. Uh, I feel like I've done something like that to a kid as well. I uh, no, I made a kid. I, I made a kid make a, a cigarette with like grass clippings. I, I, I need to clarify. We, we we didn't make this kid do it. We said, "Hey, you wouldn't eat that paper plate," and he oh, folded yeah, it no, up no, like a taco for, and just yeah. took chunks out of it and like actually swallowed them. We we're like, "You need to stop doing that." <laughs> Yeah, for us it was the same. We didn't we didn't go to the guy and we're like hold him down and force feed him paper. Did I ever talk about the time me and my friends in high school pranked one of our friends so bad that we made him cry? That's Aww. not funny. What? Is okay, but it is funny, funny because it has a happy ending. We got him pizza and we 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 promised <gasps> to never do it again. <laughs> <laughs> got him a big That's pizza. pretty awesome. Okay, actually. All right. Um, so it, this is in high school. This is like senior year of high school. It's myself, my friend David, uh, and my my friend Austin. Um, and we all are bored. Uh, Austin is like watching their their grandparents' house. So we've been over there a bunch because their grandparents are gone. Like we were like, dude, we could so watch Captain America the first Captain America movie, like five times and we couldn't get in trouble or anything. So I devised it. I, uh, David and I, because he he would bring out the worst in me. Uh, we devised this prank on our friend Sam. And uh, it, we were going to hang out with Sam after, like we were going to invite him over, but we wanted to like prank him first. So first I, I call him on my cell phone and then I cut it off immediately. I'm like, hey, Sam, what's up? Oh my God. And then I fucking turn my phone off. Like I, I, I close it. I end the call. I have David... Call him back, pretending to be me, carrying a conversation on for like three to five minutes. And Sam just what? keeps asking, why do you sound weird? Why do you, Brendan? And then we call Sam from the Austin's grandpa's house phone, pretending to be the police, investigating my death. <gasps> what? And then I have oh, David Jesus call him Christ. again. I have David call him again, acting really suspicious. Like, uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and only saying like, yeah, and no, yeah. yeah I, I tell him, get really breathy with it. Start sounding really weird. Sam calls me again 
freaking out thinking that I had been murdered. He he had built this narrative in his head from this little like this little like, oh, we're stupid high schoolers. We're going to do something j- dumb. And he is like panic attack freaking out. And I have to be like, OK, and 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 so we go, we pick him up, we get him pizza, we apologize. But for a moment there, he did legitimately think that <laughs> I had been killed and the serial killer was calling him. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> I still feel bad about that. Every time I see Sam around town, I apologize for it. Oh, Dude, that's a little Sam. intense. <laughs> that's a that's really intense, but at least you got pizza, so I guess it's okay. You did get pizza and we did apologize profusely throughout the night. We watched so much Captain America, dude. <laughs> I don't know. I, the the only pranks I do are like super tame and like borderline gaslighting uh, at work. Sometimes I like to just like see people leave their golf carts somewhere when they're doing stuff because I work in a park uh, and I'll just go over, turn them on and turn them around and then leave when they're not looking. Hey, it's like what? the extent of it. Like you like they're, they're parked somewhere and you just park it backwards. I don't know. I think I, I get I, man. I get bored at work. <laughs> Man, what the hell? What? A lot of golf carts in my work, right? I work in a park. No, but what do you mean reverse? Like, I, scratch like reverse it's it? parked facing one way, and I take it, and I turn it around, and I park it facing the other way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I would even, re- I don't think I, I know, would even realize if, it if, happened. If you do, you're going to get confused. If you do, you- I've never stuck around to see people get confused. I leave. <laughs> that wasn't that way before. I, I, Ten, that's a good I, one. <laughs> <laughs> do you think they all call you the uh, like the a no. card? They're like, oh, that card. I, I, I mean, I don't do it that often. When I was at GameStop, we had this big cardboard cut out of shack that was life sized, and I would try to find <laughs> oh ways God. to scare my manager with it. So I would place it directly behind the door. I would hang it on the ceiling, <laughs> like above the break room. I like put it in the uh, the defective room, like the storeroom. I'd put it in the bathroom. I would hide it out back when he was taking out trash. Any night he would close while we had this cutout, I would try to hide it in ways that a wouldn't damage the cutout. B, ways that would make him go, oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. It's just Shaq again. God damn it. Don't be mean to Shaq. There's a cardboard cutout of Kevin Hart in somebody's office that did that to me a couple of times, but they don't move it, so now I'm just used to it. But the first couple of times, I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, I don't know who that is. And I turned it to Kevin Hart. Who would, they, who would own a fucking Kevin Hart? Because we, we had it for an event, and it was just left over, so somebody just took it and put it in an office. What, what was the event? Did you put him in a fucking zoo? <laughs> no, it was like uh, advertising tequila or something. Oh. It was like an event where people just show up and get trashed. It's like the whole point There's of it. There's a lot of events event. like that at zoos. I don't know why. It's like a uh, fucking... Because it, it's a great it's like, fundraising event hundred dollars come and get fucking tanked at the zoo no but i mean like every zoo has so many different events that are always like beer like oh you get local beers and get shit faced yeah. while looking at a panda and it's like i mean maybe not a panda i don't because because a lot of them also call it brew at the zoo it's that easy yeah brew at the zoo wow yeah. <laughs> me when i'm a witch and i'm so excited about brew at the zoo but actually i'm not allowed <laughs> to take the animals and put them in my cauldron i, I show fuck. up and it's a fucking <laughs> micro brews not a big uh, bubbling cauldron why are they drinking beer i wanted to make a cackling brew <laughs> what does a cackling brew do what if it you makes drink you cackle. the brew it's a giggle brew <laughs> you ain't never drink a giggle brew <laughs> never drinking butter beer never drinking giggle brew i've never had a brew beer, beer neither have i mike's hard giggle brew <laughs> 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 yeah oh dude i'd fucking go crazy i'd go nutso for that i would love that just have a little bit of giggle brew what if you went to the store you walk into the gas station at the liquor store you go over to the uh the refrigerator and it just it's full of one flavor it's just mike's hard ass <laughs> <laughs> dude, what do you mean mike's it just says, it just says ass, ass and it, it doesn't just have a picture of a butt and every time you open it instead of making the crisp bottle open sound <laughs> it, it makes, makes a, a fart, fart sound. nice nice <laughs> i'm on some real dubious giggle brew right now <laughs> What's the label on there? Just a it just big says old Mike's fart? hard ass, and it's a clean black label with white text, no images, no calories. And when you open it, the liquid disappears. <laughs> yeah, because it's a gas, dumbass. Your mom's in a gaseous form. <laughs> what the hell? A, a can? F- is it just a can full of laughing gas? <laughs> no, it's a can full of laughing ass. It's not funny. <laughs> It's, it's funny really for unfunny. me. Damn Holy it. shit. I'm slapping We're my hands funny. on the fucking desk and yelling, it's funny to me, damn it. It's nunny. It's nunny. It's nunny? Snoozy and snunny? I pee so bad. Hopefully it's a big piss. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm sorry. I oh, my God. Too big no. of a piss. <laughs> it's a regular piss.
What's what if happening? you what if you went up what if you you're at a sporting event and you walk into the bathroom and somebody's at the urinal, but they're just pissing so hard that the flow is pushing them back up against the wall? <laughs> <laughs> like they're holding a fire hose just like. i would be so upset if it was one of those like stadium oh. troughs where you just gather around and piss in a circle you know what i'm talking about yeah oh yeah it would bother it, me oh. i'd be like hey man could you do that somewhere else <laughs> but this motherfucker got the spray and pray <laughs> somewhere else when i when i was a kid and we were on a road trip one time my grandpa refused to stop to let us like piss on the side of the road and my little brother really had to go so we just rolled down the window and just started pissing <laughs> out the side of the car <laughs> man i hope there was <laughs> there, I hope there, there was, was somebody car. behind them oh, they were not behind God. them for long because they saw the spray of liquid and they slowed the fuck down <laughs> I'm pretty oh. sure piss got all over their windshield. Oh. No, no, that's awful. That's do, so do, do, do you think, awful. Do you think at first they just thought that uh, you guys did the like windshield wiper fluid? Like when that I happens? think at first, and then they were like, "Oh fuck! Oh, there's a lot of it. Oh, okay, windshield's on. Uh, back up, back up. They're spraying some kind of liquid. I don't think they realized it was piss probably until some like dubious, they got home. Some and they were like, "Why does liquid. my car smell suspiciously like piss?" That's awful. <laughs> That's horrible. That's hey, really I, I asked bad. permission at the beginning of this episode. Can I flip the psycho yeah. switch? Uh, I mean, speaking it, of like awful and speaking yeah. of this podcast, Sheena, you had a yeah. story you wanted to tell. Oh, man. Hey, guys. This is where I brought the show and tell today. Oh, shoot. <laughs> In high school, my school offered the option to learn uh, Japanese as your language. And, you know... A Japanese class will attract a certain kind of people. I, I absolutely understand, like the Hiritaki Moss <laughs> kind of people. Yes. There was a guy in there who said he didn't want to associate with anyone who wasn't Japanese. Oh. We got those type of people in there. I understand intimately. <laughs> so, uh, this was probably freshman year or sophomore year of high school. I was 14, 15, roughly. And uh, I was just hanging out with my friend, uh, talking about games, and I guess, like, Steam was mentioned at some point. And this guy, he, he was pretty, he's pretty big, a big guy, kind of leans in on the conversation, like, did you guys just say Steam? Me and my friend were like, yeah. He's a gamer. Yeah, he literally said, like, he didn't say that, but it was very much like a... Girl gamer, oh. kind of. Oh. Are you a girl gamer? <laughs> yeah, and we were just like confused. Like, what are you? And he said, "Can can I add you? And, and we can play games sometime." And this was during a period where I was trying to reform myself. I admit that middle school me, not a very nice person, sometimes. So this was me during a time where I was trying to overcorrect. So even though this guy was giving off weird vibes, I was like, okay, I'll add you on Steam and we can play games sometimes. Maybe he's just like nervous and he's looking to make friends. I'll call this person, what's a name? Chumbo. Ch uh, it's Chumbo. 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 So yeah, I add Chumbo on Steam and I still have screenshots. Yeah. Oh my God. The, the dude's name. <laughs> yeah. It's just like this really oh long Japanese God. name. It's like, it's like, it's. <laughs> We can't say we can't say it, Don't but say it, it's, my name uh, is Jonathan the Shining Brilliance. <laughs> yeah, the basically, basically, and uh, so I we add each other. I go home and we have like a conversation, like maybe like three days into being added on on Steam, and we talked about games that we liked, and I think he mentioned TF2. And I said, oh, I don't really like TF2. And I think it was because I tried playing it with a friend at the time and it didn't work. So I freaking disliked the game. And I also said how things looked and felt didn't really fit me. And he said, yeah, you're more of a 32 double A. Yeah. And I, <laughs> for those of you who were like me and don't understand what that means, that is a bra size. And that is a very small bra size. <laughs> I, I read that in the messages and my eyes like bulged out of my head. I forgot about that part. <laughs> and I said, I have no idea what that means. He explains further. 32 is a band size XD. And I said, band? <laughs> like a group of people band? <laughs> Rubber band? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This is not... No. This, this, is, 
No, this is not even me trying to deflect. I just didn't understand where his <laughs> mind was at because that is such a weird thing it's to so say. It's so off the cuff. It's completely out of nowhere. <laughs> he clears it up more. Like broadband. I say, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> he has the gall to say, never mind. I'm being fed false information. <laughs> oh, whatever that means. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Ask what my bra size is. I've only known this guy for like three oh. days. <laughs> I make a typo and then the the conversation derails. I mean, it just changes and we don't really talk. I like that. I like that it ends with this dude just g- going away. Yeah, Chumbo is now away. <laughs> he just fucking set himself as a way to not get notified anymore. Oh, this dude got fucking got. <laughs> So I was like, okay, um, you know, maybe because I was trying to like be nice and more understanding. I, I figured, you know, maybe today was an off day for Chumbo. I'll just let it be. <laughs> it's a bad day for it's Chumbo. It's an off day for Chumbo. <laughs> oh, my again, God. The convenience store was out of Ramune and I couldn't get any Pocky. <laughs> uh, my day is ruined and I cannot feast upon this day. I'm going to go ask this girl what their bra size is. <laughs> I have had a terrible day. My mother has confiscated all my instant ramen. (laughs) I must ask this milady about her bra size. Oh my god. Me looking Uh, at that message. You're talking about 32 AA? No, I don't have 32 AA batteries. What are you talking about? (laughs) We stay friends on Steam and eventually we start we do start playing games together. It's mostly payday two. We played a lot of payday two. Um he and his friends would invite me to play and it was fun like his friends are genuinely like kind of cool and oh my god this was back uh skype days days before discord oh man yeah but sometimes he would kind of like have to push me into playing or he would ask me hey you want to play pity 2 with the boys and i said uh not today i got like some homework to do i should probably do that and he said no you can't do that can't leave the boys waiting and i was like you're so right but it's just kind of weird and one night after all the boys left the the call and it was just me and chumbo Uh. chumbo said hey i have a proposition This is not going to be a business proposition where it's like, do you want to do you want to run a takoyaki stand in the middle of town with me? I can guarantee. <laughs> like, yeah. good ending. Good ending is uh, to run a takoyaki stand with me, but I'm I'm excited to hear the bad ending. This is most definitely the bad ending. Oh. I said, yeah. What's your what's the proposition? He says, I think it would be really funny if we pretended to be in a relationship, uh. but. Oh! You are the guy, and I am the girl. And (laughs) (laughs) ah, this is really uncomfortable. Holy shit! Uh, I don't even feel for you. I'm, I'm like, oh my god! (laughs) Uh, It's so much weirder. This is, and this is not like in DMs. This is in a call. This guy had the strength to say that out loud. To me. Oh my god. And I didn't have the strength to say anything back. I was shocked. So I was... <laughs> my immediate reaction would be, okay, I have a proposition for you. What if we fight on top of Millennium Tower and I throw you off? <laughs> I, don't even know. I don't even know how to process any of this. I think I'll Brendan's hard. got the best response. It's so yeah, much. That... Have, have a Yakuza fight on top of Millennium Tower. <laughs> yeah. this is, all of this is so much. Yakuza fight, but they're not getting seven health bars. They're getting half yeah. a health bar and I'm getting the heat action right away. <laughs> so... I, I was in the same spot, Billy, where I just didn't know how to process that. So I was just sitting there silently trying to process what he just asked me. And he said, great. I'll see you tomorrow, honey. And hung up. What do you mean, great? What do you mean, What do you great? mean, honey? I'm getting a heartburn. <laughs> I'm getting heartburn actually. What the hell? What the fuck? I left, did my homework, and it was cool the next day. I don't think it could. I I don't think I would be able to sleep after that. I just have it stuck in my head. I was just so tired. (laughs) Oh, man. School comes along. Guess who has Japanese that day? Us. Me and Chumbo. Chumbo time. Chumbo comes along and says, hey, honey. I, I got I got these M and M's for you, and I said, "Thanks." I took the M and M's because if I'm gonna get anything out of this, I'll take some M and M's. 
break this. <laughs> you say, <laughs> I got sorry. I got the same energy of that. Have Have y'all seen the the Deku ASMR role play where they're Hey, hey, puppy! I just got back from Popeyes. And I <laughs> the same energy. <laughs> you want a bite of my chicken breast? <laughs> i've never seen that that's awful both of these are awful (laughs) sorry i did i did not mean to interrupt sheena i just i immediately thought of that it's funny (laughs) um yeah i i take the evidence because like you know if i'm gonna go through this situation if i'm gonna suffer through this my prize might as well be some evidence so I, I took them, I ate them across the, the, the classroom from him. We have our we have our little class. And he just kind of kept calling me honey. It, like, it was a couple more times because I was trying to stay away from him. And he just, like, wasn't getting the message. So I unfriended him and all of his friends on Steam. And it was a peaceful week. Until Japanese class. Until the next week. I come home from school and I see a bunch of notifications on Skype and it's everyone adding me back. Uh. And I said, I have to put an end to this. I accept Chumbo's friend request and start messaging him. I said, Amen. Um, I don't wanna be like rude or anything, but I, I have to tell you that I don't really want to talk to you anymore because you were being weird to me. I, I'm tired of play, playing Fade The bra thing was weird, and your proposition was really weird. <laughs> Here we go. His response is, sorry about that. I was uh, not exactly sober in quotation marks. <laughs> not sober? What do you mean? I was at a religious holiday earlier. I guess I can't handle a tiny cup of wine I was supposed to have. <laughs> Me, me, me when I blame it on the uh, 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 alcohol. <laughs> I floored. Oh I my god! Going to church and getting fucking crunked out my mind. Yeah, so they had the tiny wine. Cup, and instead, I decided to just take the whole bottle. I'm all wafered out, dude. <laughs> I see. Because uh, back then, I was a lot more blunt. So even though this guy was not my closest friend, I, I just say, dude, what? <laughs> what? He then explains, they have this wine you're supposed to offer. They let... Yeah, the communion wine, right? Uh, I don't know nothing about any religion. I don't know much. I just kind of, I vaguely think that there is wine. Yeah, he says, they have this wine you're supposed to offer. They let the spirit drink the soul of it then you drink it yourself <laughs> man what the fuck I, what is he talking about they let the p- spirits drink the soul of it <laughs> i don't yeah i i for a second that was like i mean Chumbo yeah that is a ghost thing church <laughs> Chumbo's <laughs> going crazy Chumbo's a yumby. i ask him so when was this he responds that day sorry about oh. all of this i guess I asked them, why did you continue this at school? <laughs> what? Still still drunk off wine. You did. I, I doubt <laughs> you could not be sober for like three days. And <laughs> the conversation leads up to like kind of like understanding. It's like, I understand. It was weird. I'm sorry. His explanation does not make sense. Like he was just trying. He was just panicking. He came up with something because <laughs> when he says that day, I'm thinking like, which one? There are multiple days where you're being weird to me. <laughs> the conversation begins to close off. And he says, thanks for being there, though. Um, and I, I tell him, you know, just let let your friends know why I don't want to play anymore. Why I'm not going to talk to them or you. Um, I know you're freaking lying, but I'll, I'll just... <laughs> I'll just take it at face value and be done with it. It's not even worth it, yeah. And he says, I, I, I lied because... <laughs> I can't handle telling the truth. <laughs> I said, man, this is really hard for me. Can you can you <laughs> give me some answers for why I had to go through all of this? Oh, man, I feel bad. He says in all caps, I love you. You spelled with the letter U. Uh, <laughs> sorry. He said, there we go. Can't talk to girls. And I feel bad for this too, but my only response was, oh. 
Oh. <laughs> oh. Just, oh. oh man. He types more, and I, I, I ask, "Are you, are you gonna be okay?" And the conversation ends. Never. It's okay though. It's supposed to be painful, so I don't forget. <laughs> oh. Oh my god. <laughs> Howard. Oh my god. After that message, I would never speak to him again until senior year when we had to do a history project together and I was freaking shaking oh, no. in my boots, but nothing weird happened. <laughs> but uh that Oh Chumbo. That, that oh, is, chumbo. That is story oh, chumbo. chumbo. Weird guy. <laughs> I hope he learned to talk to people. Chumbo was lost at sea two years no. ago. <laughs> yeah, It's unfortunate, but Chumbo picked up crab fishing and they were lost at sea. It's supposed to hurt. Mm -hmm. No. Speaking of supposed to hurt, <laughs> Patreon questions. <laughs> if you're part of the five dollars at above tiers, you get you can get you can ask our bra sizes. Don't don't do that. Actually, don't you're gonna do be that. disappointed when I tell you. You're gonna be so disappointed. It's not even near 32 AA. 44 H. It's 44 I, 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 I just said I don't know, man. Just said letters. Oh. <laughs> letters and numbers oh fuck Thick wasabi asks you're surrounded by an angry mob which pst members limb do you tear off for a weapon uh i think honestly yours I'm gonna is grab, the tallest i'm gonna no 10 is taller than me 10 is taller than me by an inch 10 is taller yes 10 is inch. also younger and more i would spry. i would i would not grab a limb I'm grabbing Billy by the feet and swinging Billy around. Why? Because one, Yakuza heat action. Two, I would Why? assume. Why I would think, I be a Yakuza heat action? What I think the if fuck? there's a mob, I think hitting people. Uh, one, I, I just think hitting people with people is fucking awesome. And two, I think I could probably swing you the best. Real answer, uh, I'm going to jump on Ten's back and we're going to form a Megatron. Bren Ten. Bren Ten. Your town. Yeah. Oh, Bren Ten. I Bren like Bren Ten. But nobody's things were ripped. Yeah, I, I mean, I, 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 I took some creative liberty on the question. Uh, if I was going to really rip off a limb, it'd Ooh, probably yeah, be my own arm because I don't want to hurt my friends. So I don't know. I, I don't feel like I would be able to. Like, do I have a saw or do I have to do it with sheer fucking force of will and just I think it would just screaming. pop off like a Lego. In this instance, you have one limited time So there's no blood or anything. It's just, you it just, just goes pop off somebody's arm or limb like a Lego. I, I can barely lift my own arm. I don't know about lifting someone what's else's. A, what's a limb? What's a limb somebody doesn't need? I clearly, we're not thinking. Mandy is armored, so it would do the most damage. So real for the. Mm -hmm. We could take the leg off. Like you don't. Re we're all gamers. We don't walk. <laughs> I, I have to walk for my job. <laughs> Me too. I I need my legs. Lose, you know. Well, you, go on disability. Then you don't have a leg anymore. No. I <laughs> I would be able to my job. Think about how cool. All right, like I don't know. I losing losing a limb. The coolest part about losing a limb is you get to make up all kinds of fucked up stories about how you lost the limb. My grandpa lost his leg when I was a kid, and he would constantly make up stories about how a shark bit his leg off at the local lake. I feel like you don't even need to do that. Like invent a crazy thing that might have happened to your limb when it's literally. Oh, I was in a giant fight against a mob, and somebody just popped it off like it was a Lego piece. I feel like that's enough to. Of a story of its own. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't say that you can't put it back on. So, <laughs> can you put it back on? I, I, if you pop I, it off I, like, I like a Lego with we, a limited time no, superpower, you, we, you need no. We need like we need consequences to our actions. Nah. I say it doesn't come back on. You're thinking Baldur's Gate. I'm thinking Starfield. No consequences <laughs> to any of my actions. I get to experience all the content. No, I don't think you should be able to experience all the content if it happens. You should be fucking. It, okay, it, it I'll remember this. I'll remember this. <laughs> you think consequences should happen? I'll remember this because there will be consequences. I'll work and no play makes Brendan a dull boy. Oh, he's doing the. Th Thing. Mm -hmm. I'll your remember this. I'm always. I, I'm just fine. I'll survive. I'd pop off somebody's legs because we're gamers and we don't walk. That's but my who's? final answer. I don't know. It, I it, feel it, like all, Julian's are wiggly enough. You could use them like a whip. <laughs> oh, you, you, they would. Oh I, I like to think they would do like you know when you wiggle <laughs> aluminum when you wiggle aluminum to make lightning noises. That's what it would sound. Like. You know, uh, level three ranger asks you get. 
to hit one thing really hard with a baseball bat with no negative repercussions. What is it and why? The Declaration of Independence. Yeah. What? It'd just be really fucking you, funny to like break something that's uh, Paul Revered so high. I mean, if it's paper, though. If you hit paper with a baseball bat, is it going to break really? No, but it's behind like a it's behind like a case. So like, I mean, oh, you mean like smash the case? Yeah, I mean, like, smash the case and, like, ruin the paper. I don't know why. I'd probably just get in a washing ton of trouble. But, well, no, because there's no negative <laughs> uh, repercussions. What's I mean, something yeah, exactly, that, if I did it normal style, but I'm not doing it What's something that style. would usually start a war between nations, but since there are no negative repercussions, I could just do it? Um, I feel like if we answer this, we could get in a lot of trouble. <laughs> me fucking. Uh, all right. All right. Real, real answer. Me bad at the ready. They put my ass inside the particle accelerator and the atoms are coming really fast at me. I'm going to fucking knock one out of the park. dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to set us back on course. That fucking particle accelerator. What? <laughs> I don't even know what a I'll particle accelerator do. I'll show you how to split an atom, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Does it just kind of tickle? With the particle accelerator, I assume being in there would probably like either kill you. Well, I mean, Quantum Break literally is a video game about getting stuck inside the particle accelerator. So well, you get stuck in it and then you get out. You get time power. Yeah, you get a time you get power. Part I mean, of that, TV doesn't show. that doesn't sound too bad. Like, I'd love to be in uh, Better Call Saul or something. I could, <laughs> I don't know, you lawyer. I, I've never seen the show. Call Saul. Yeah, I've never seen the show. <laughs> yeah, I don't fucking know. <laughs> I don't know what they do. They, I know there's a lawyer and some drugs, I think. Good job. You know what I want? This is nothing to do with anything. I kind of want to get one of those marble mazes that when you when when I was a kid. You guys know what I mean? Where it's like... Uh, it's the little silver balls and they're in a maze and you have to get the ball into the maze, like in the hole. No. Oh. It's just like, it's just like uh, from the top and there's like multiple little things and you make a maze out of it. Like oh, the, I don't wait, know what you're talking about. Like the, one of these. Like imagine the toddler is me, okay? One of these. Oh, like at the oh yeah, oh, like no, at the doctor's office. About. These are so fucking cool, dude. I would fucking go crazy. We had for um, some. we had those in talented and gifted. We actually had a like a competition to see who could make like the most fucked up one. I think back in like fourth grade. This has nothing to do with anything. We got to get back on track. Uh, let me look up some bongs real quick. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> oh fuck. Uh, okay, let's do one last question. There's a weirdly There's two cryptid question. Two cryptid. Yeah, yeah I was, was gonna say it's my fault. Did you talk about having like having I, sex with cryptids? I, I talked about fighting. Mo I talked about dating monsters once, and I talked about fighting monsters once. So it's probably my fault. Uh, that would explain it. Clydeus the Clydeus. Clydeus. Clydeus the coy. Clydeus the coy asks, "Oh no, you got lost in the woods and were never heard from ever again." What cryptid would sprout from the legend of each of your disappearances? I was stick man. Fuck! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is, is, it, is it a cryptid that already exists, or are we making up a cryptid right now? No, I you become a cryptid you get to make because up the you cryptid like I did. I was stick man. I thought I was stick man was a real one. Definitely a real one. Absolutely. Well, now you have to figure out another one. I'm trying to muddy the water here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out, like... It's fucked up, but I have literally a list of made-up cryptids. Uh, oh, I mean, give us your list. Oh, I can't be. Well, it's for a canceled oh, video, so I guess I can. Oh, uh, I mean, you decide, gamer. You're the gamer. You're the I, gamer. I can. Let me see if I can find it. We'll, we'll build upon the foundation you lay. Uh, give me a state. Arkansas. Uh, Arkansas. Uh, the Arkansas. Cryptids, the cryptid's name is guy who's lived there his whole life, but still thinks it's a sub-state of Kansas. That's not a cryptid. What? <laughs> Maryland. <laughs> Maryland, uh, the cruster. They say that a child died in Maryland. <laughs> they you say can't that a, just say the cruster. <laughs> the cruster. They say oh. that a child died in Maryland after eating the only oh, eating only the crusts off of other sandwiches. That's good. I like that one. New Jersey. <laughs> no, New Jersey. Well, there's a Jersey Devil in New Jersey. I uh, guess. For the Jersey, Jersey Angel. The, yeah, it is the Jersey Angel. Is what I have written down. <laughs> <laughs> what is what do you mean the jersey angel uh this is a cool cat who wears sunglasses and compliments you when he sees you but you gotta admit that you're still gonna shit your pants when a talking cat says hey nice shoes he walks around in the woods and wears a <laughs> black wife beater and a gold chain with his initials on it uh what, what's a fucked up state we, we gotta go for one of the fucked up states wyoming dude. uh wasn't done with the script so uh, i didn't have one for that one that's oh, one of the alphabetical four. kansas kansas uh tornado ally <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what does that mean? Uh, if you find this little cyclone romping around the hell that is Kansas, you can use him to get a jump boost to the next level. <laughs> so I have written down. Is it like the, the, the wind flute from Mario 3? Yeah, it's like a little cyclone and you jump on it to get a jump boost. 
<laughs> I like that Tornado one a lot. Alley. <laughs> I love the name. It's so good. <laughs> We're just talking about Brendan's made the up grip. You just <laughs> give me a state. Yeah. Uh, Ohio. Ohio. The loaf oaf. <laughs> the loaf oaf. The loaf oaf. A child accidentally baked into a big loaf of bread in a horrible bakery <laughs> accident. <laughs> It's the loaf of. Oh, I feel like I would. He, he would make like the worst sandwich. You <laughs> make the worst sandwich. It would be all bumpy and fucked up. I, I'm not like a lot of people on this podcast. I, I'm not six feet tall. Sorry, I can't stop <laughs> thinking about the loaf of. <laughs> the loaf of. It's so stupid. It's so dumb. <laughs> oh, fuck. Yeah. I, I don't have the qualities to be scary, but I, I think. I can pull off being like a creepy voice echoing throughout the the woods. I did a big pizza. You're just in the woods and you just. Recently, when I, whenever I'm just in distress, and it could be over the smallest thing, I I will I will just start. Like whisper screaming help or saying I w- I'm a I'm going to throw up, so that's probably the things I the kind of things I would be saying in the woods, and uh, I guess the legend would be um, yeah if you follow that voice you will become one of the many voices I have captured and you will also start screaming help and saying I'm going to throw you up. You could become a big pizza. That's my legend. I don't know what the name would um, be. I would be the glomp romp, and I would just. <laughs> I, I can't just, fucking believe you're just building uh, rainforest live. No, oh, fuck! <laughs> shut up. Shut, I don't like it anymore. I'm taking it back. No. Uh, if you go camping in the woods and you have beer in your cooler, you'll wake up the next morning and they'll all have been shotgunned. It's me. <laughs> I'm just in the woods now. Not even a monster. <laughs> Not a monster. Just a, an alcoholic. <laughs> just, just a hey for the term party, dude. Just a, you just better not a regular go. old party dude. Yeah. You better, you just, better not go into the woods. They say there's a craft brewery out there. Whoa, that was so good. I love that. Uh, I, I think I would also dress up as a old Appalachian like mountain man and warn people on the trail and then steal all their beer in the middle of the night. <laughs> That's so just funny. really lean into so, it. So you would just you would just warn them and then just fuck with yeah. them. You so just you better warn not bring them no alcohol into the hills. You gotta be careful. They got the grog grabber up there. It's oh grog g- grog gobbler. You got a grob gobbler. Ooh, the grog gobbler. I You've got to take one. a bottle of gin and pour it all the way around in a protective circle, and I won't care anymore. <laughs> I hate gin. <laughs> Too floral. I like to think it's like the Georgia the Georgia grog gobbler. <laughs> Answer. The Georgia Grog Gobbler, and then he just fucking steal your beers. Uh, it doesn't do anything other than shotgun all the beers in your cooler in the middle of the like, night. But like, and, and he's loud about it. If you it. run out of beers, the, the Grog Gobbler will shotgun you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah, so you have to keep one, at least one, one fucking... Uh, you have to keep a six-pack on one, you, otherwise one the Grog Gobbler will drink you. <laughs> you've you've, yeah, you've got to yeah. tie him up in a bag and hang him from a tree like you do for bears. <laughs> <laughs> you wake up and there's just... Dude, the... <laughs> I like to think he's super loud about it too. Like he, yeah. Just, oh, oh, super fucking loud. Like a, <coughs> you after like the fifteenth uh, one, uh, and then he just starts. Bur- uh, uh. You got to stay in your tent, or else he comes at you with a shotgun tool. Just like <laughs> parentheses his car keys. <laughs> <laughs> he comes at you with car keys. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's that. <laughs> Uh, what, else am I supposed, what else am I supposed to punch him open with? I was doing it with my thumb one time when I was uh, tailgating. I slashed my Christ. thumb open and I didn't realize. Why the fuck would you do that? Because I, dude, people kept dumb handing me hell. beers before a Browns game and I was in a park. I was in the Muni lot. That dumb as hell. This- yeah, it was not good. I, my friend was like, hey, you're bleeding, by the way. And he's like, here, I got something. And he poured Mike's heart on it and stopped bleeding, but it hurt really bad. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh, but it's that sticky as shit. Ew. Yeah, it was. But I, I also had like 15 beers before I even made it to the stadium, so I did not give a fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> it's a silly answer, but there is something kind of scary about the thought of like <laughs> someone as big as 10 freaking beelining it like through the woods towards a camp. <laughs> Towards a Going through your beer. cooler. Yeah, and the person is just like in their tent, like, he's here. 
<laughs> you just hear it. You just hear cans cracking. And gross, like, gurgling and, and chugging. <laughs> Outside, I absolutely like, shitting myself around the campfire because I heard a can crack in the middle of the woods. It's not me. <laughs> oh man, all we're doing is fucking positing Blair Witch, but they're drunk. <laughs> Blair Witch, but she's crunked out of her fucking mind. No, Blair Witch, but everybody's drunk, even the witch. <laughs> <laughs> just half asses the little like stick dolls. She just like half asses it and she's just putting sticks in the ground like I don't fucking care, dude. She puts an extra stick in on the crotch area and she laughs. Bro, the stick doll's got a dick now. Uh-huh. Instead of tied up, it's a bunch of twigs held together by a fucking pop tab off the can. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. Brendan, I feel like you would make a pretty good cryptid. I mean this isn't like I, yeah, the greatest no. way. This guy just invents cryptids. I do invent cryptids. Like the the Iowa stick man, uh, I know it's it's starting to permeate through, but like um I I have had one experience and it's Mandy is more cryptid than me. I I think we're on the same scale but on on like we're on the same like spectrum but on like different parts of the like the cryptid spectrum. Um like in Chicago where Mandy magically appeared in front of me is like the scariest moment of my life, but also you kept yeah. kept doing that. Yeah. I I'm very weird up front. Mandy is very weird distant. Uh, I see what you're saying. You're like you're like goosebumps and Mandy's like dark mad more dark abyss. Alone in the dark? You know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I'm like goosebumps. Mandy is like <laughs> reading Franz Kafka's metamorphosis. That guy turns into a big bug. <laughs> they put bug on the pizza now. Bug <laughs> pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for listening. This episode would not have been possible without the help from our patrons, such as Alan Diver, Arta Vagen, Bjur, Bland But Funny, Boo Pulu, Caffeine Addicted Chemist, Cheese Dreams, Chris Chapman, Dasul Burt, Delling City, Dreams of Ice, Ducky Madness, DX Studios, Eric Scott Gillies, Ethereal, Generic Phoenix, Handsome Destiny, Hater 115, John Requires Lasagna, Kawaii Boy Toy, Leo the Geotech, Loudon Woodworth, Mr. Shirt, Random Diamonds, Rocco Man, Smeet Mono, Spherical May, Teague, The Frost Ace, The Snacksalotl, Winnie Rab, and Will 9455. Thank you so much for listening, and we'll see you next time.